Hey Sagittarius, what's up? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for February 2021. It's for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Check out your Moon, your Rising, and your Venus. If you want a personal love reading, check the link in the description box. Also, my Etsy shop, um, you can buy a personal love reading. You can buy one of my Oracle decks. I have um, bracelets. I have jewelry necklaces amethyst healing stuff all that stuff so check it out if you're interested follow me on instagram all right so let's jump right into your reading for february okay um i have your extended bonus reading up on vimeo for february 1st through the 10th check it out how does your person feel what's on their mind how do they view you perceive you what are they not saying? What's in their emotions and feelings? How do they want to move forward? And what's going on behind the scenes, right? Um, as well as the outcome. I have also added some unspoken love messages and some healing advice for you, Sagittarius. So check it out. It's in the description box. And I'm going to start off with um, my Epiphany Oracle deck. It is on sale for the month of February. Um, so if you're interested, grab a copy. It's on my Etsy shop. So let's jump right into your reading. Sagittarius and your person, what is going on? What's going on with Sagittarius? Those who need to know what is happening. Those who need answers, right? Okay, any other messages? Any all messages, please. Sagittarius. <clears throat> all right, so we have believe in divine timing. So some of you guys, there's a situation here that is happening in divine time. I know you guys hear it all the time, but, you know, that's what spirit wants you to know. All right. <laughs> um, we also have it is just so complicated. So there's something about the connection that someone, it just makes it complicated or it's just overly complicated right now. And it's not even all that serious. OK, so there's something that is extremely complicated right now with you and your person. OK, we have powerless. The power struggle is real. So someone may feel powerless to do something or to say something to come toward you. Okay, you could be dealing with um your person who is like, I'm feeling like a king of wands of reverse energy. It's like someone who's typically very confident, but for some reason they feel like they just don't, they don't have the ability to do something. They don't have the ability to um, move forward or, per, or bring some kind of change to a situation here, okay? All right, let's get two more cards here before we jump in. Ooh, what's this that came out? Struggling to overcome self-imposed limiting beliefs. So someone could be up in their head, okay? There could be someone here who is holding this back because they're so stuck on something here. Um, it could be a way of way of looking at a situation here some self-limiting thoughts beliefs that that they live by okay that is keeping things stuck okay i'm getting like you know got the fence energy here they could be feeling like they can't come towards you there's some kind of barrier or block here okay all right let me see and we have stuck at a crossroad, okay, major intersection. So it's like the two of swords. So there is some kind of um, stuck energy here, right? As we already said, there may be a decision that someone has to make about you, up towards you, okay? Maybe you have to make a decision. Maybe you're stuck, okay? It's complicated. So, you know, that's why you're in that two of swords energy for some of you guys. But what I'm seeing is that your person, they may also feel stuck. Both of you guys could be stuck, okay? Because your person is powerless, right now they feel like they don't they can't accomplish something here with you they feel like they're not good enough they feel inadequate okay all right let's see let's jump right into your reading divine timing is at work here in your love life sagittarius Ooh, okay Ooh, the ten of swords came out don't you love it um so there was some kind of ending here but the Ten of Swords came out in reverse, so this is telling me that you guys are picking up the pieces after a painful past or painful situation here. I feel like whatever this was, you could have felt betrayed by your person or you felt like you were very, you were devastated by something that they did. I really feel like this person hurt you and you've been in conflict with them about it for some time now, okay? Now, the star came out in reverse, so I do feel like the challenge is for someone to heal a past situation or overcome some kind of setback. 
there is some kind of damage that has been done to this connection because of that ten of swords okay and i feel like it could have happened unexpectedly and very quickly and very sudden tragically and at star number some of you guys are dealing with an aquarius but i feel like someone is not so hopeful that something can happen and this could be you aquarius you've given up hope or you've lost interest in the situation and trying to heal and trying to overcome so in a recent past, we do have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So I do feel Sagittarius, um, the energy between you guys was that neither one of you guys were willing to work on this connection. Neither one of you guys were willing to put in time and energy and effort to change this. Eights are typically about change. And we have the Eight of Cups, two eights. So someone walked away. There was a lot of change in the past in this connection, and I could have brought a lot of complication to the situation. Um... Whoever walked away, um, I do feel like it could have made the other person stop putting in work. Obviously, no one's going to be chasing, right? So um, I do feel like, yeah, there's an energy of someone not being happy here emotionally and decided to let go or walk away from the situation. Now, in your energy, Sagittarius, ooh, beautiful. You do got the Empress, okay? So you are just glowing, all right? <laughs> Um, Sagittarius, you are a beacon of light. You are a manifester. You're a creator. There could be a new beginning or something that you're working on. Um, you embody all of the a characteristic of all the queens, especially if you are a divine feminine. Some of you guys are married, or some of you guys you have a child with this person. It could be that could be the reason why it's so much more devastating. Okay, maybe you guys have some kind of uh long-standing commitment with this person. But I feel that ultimately you guys know your power, you know what you're worth, and you know your, your ability, okay? You know what you bring to the table. What's crossing this empress? Some of you guys may still see that there's growth here, but right now the situation is very much emotionally exhausting and it's creating an imbalance in your life, okay? Some of you guys, you feel like you're out of alignment with your higher self because of everything that you've gone through, okay? I feel like a lot of you guys... There is some separation here because there is some divine time and there's some kind of divine intervention taking place. And I do feel some of you guys are very deeply spiritual or this person may have triggered you into a spiritual awakening, okay? Some of you guys are dealing with the Sagittarius here. What's in the environment with this person? Oh, am I saying Sagittarius? That's you. <laughs> Don't you love it when tarot readers do that? Or am I the only one that does that? <laughs> and I have the sign here. Sagittarius, that's you. You're off balance with yourself, right? Okay, you're feeling a little bit out of your norm. You don't feel yourself right now. All right, so let's see what's in the environment. I'm laughing at myself. This way, if you guys laugh, it's okay. So the Five of Cups is here and your person's environment. So your person is definitely uh, crying over spilt milk. They're very sad and disappointed in their actions towards you. Okay, there's a lot of regrets and remorse with that Five of Cups and guilt. There's a lot of guilt here, okay? and feelings okay and the queen of swords is coming out so i do feel some of you guys are dealing with a gemini a libra or aquarius or someone who wants to speak truth there's something that your person wants to say okay they may want to finally be honest so some of you guys they are dealing with a queen of swords okay that queen of swords could certainly have caused um i'm feeling a broken communication between you guys so if there was a third party that got in the way of you and this person sagittarius there could be a situation where your person um I was dealing with someone who was very powerful, okay? That's when we have the powerful, powerless card. Maybe your person feels powerless um, when they're around this Queen of Swords because she may have, like, control issues or she dictates things. Um, but for the majority of you guys, I do feel like that person is someone who is wanting to communicate here with you even though they have not reached out, right? There's some self-imposed limiting thoughts, beliefs that's keeping them stuck, we do got the Three of Cups in verse and the Knight of Pentacles. So some of you guys, there is a third party here. But what I'm seeing is that your person has some doubts about having a reunion here with you. The Three of Cups in verse, there is something regarding this person's um, stability, okay? I do feel like they see you as someone that they value and they do see that you're worth, okay, their investment. They do see you as someone that they want to build with. But the problem is that there's a very unhappy situation here between you guys. Or they feel like they really disappoint you and they don't know how to come come toward you. They don't know how to be honest or truthful. And that's the situation here is what I'm seeing with your person. Some of you guys, if it was a third party, I feel like that situation really isn't working out. And they still see stability with you. I mean, you're the empress, right? Male or female, doesn't matter. All right, let's see. Jumping into the current moment. 
So we do got the six of wands in verse. So there is a situation where your person doesn't feel victorious, okay? Or there's a situation where both of you guys are feeling like something here didn't work out the way you envision, okay? Um, neither one of you guys, it's like a lose-lose situation. Neither one of you guys were able to achieve what you want, okay? Um, there is still, right, disharmony in your life or you feel with regard to the connection. Your person is full of regrets, remorse, feeling awful. Let's see what your energy is, Sagittarius. So the Magician card came out in a verse for your energy. It could also flip-flop. Some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini. They could be the one who's in that Magician in a verse, feeling powerless about the situation here, right? Feeling weak, feeling incapable. And we have the Moon in reverse. So what, I'm do what I do see is that there is something coming to light, and, okay? There's something that's going to be revealed from your person because they want to speak true. And so I do feel like there's been a period of silence between you guys or not much communication because you guys have lost faith and hope in this. I do feel like your person is going to break the silence. They will come and reach out. The Knight of Pentacles is here and, Ace, and the Queen of Swords. So I do feel like your person is going to um, make some kind of effort, okay, to say something or to uh, bring some kind of stability here. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is a slow-moving knight. But I do feel like there's something here where your person is finally ready to open up, okay? They're ready to finally let down their guard. So if there's been a lot of defensive energy, if your person has been very detached with that Queen of Swords energy, I feel like they're finally dropping their guard and wanting to speak up. The moon in verse is telling me that there may have been some repressed emotions or things that your person's been keeping from you and they finally want to reveal. They want to tell you what happened. There also could have been some secrets that your person was... um. Uh, hiding from you or it doesn't even have to be secrets it could just be feelings and things right like the self-limiting thoughts and beliefs things that they didn't tell you that they kind of they hid they kind of dealt with by themselves you could be dealing with someone who kind of doesn't like other people to help them right especially um yeah i do feel like your person could be wanting they, they kind of go through things by themselves and sometimes they do need help okay and i do feel like they kind of pushed you back pushed you away all right, the Ten of Swords with the um, Star in reverse. So there's a lot of confusion, right? Complication. Um, things are maybe very much up in the air. Sagittarius, you may not feel like you know where you stand with this person anymore, okay? Or your feelings is just taking a toll on you, especially if you've been hurt with that Ten of Swords. It's like, especially, you know, if you love this person, but then they hurt you that much, it's like you kind of question your love for this person. You question if it really is love. So the star in reverse is telling me that, you know, you've lost faith in something here because I do feel a lot of you guys, you know, there's an energy of deciding, you know what, I should just be single. I don't want to deal with this anymore. The nine of pentacles, like, I just want to get myself together and do what I need to do and not focus on this person anymore. And that's what I'm seeing here. Now, in a recent past, the eight of pentacles in reverse with the eight of cups. Yeah, the justice. I feel like you guys have been fighting for something to be fair and just and right. And I feel that um some of you guys, there there was a situation here where there could have been your person leaving and, and it could have been a separation between you guys because it was very much necessary. There could have been imbalances in this connection or something could have been very much one-sided to the point where the universe said, you know what, this has to part ways okay right with divine timing if it's meant to be it'll come back together but i do feel like there's a situation where both of you guys stop putting in work or at least maybe at different times but someone has walked away and walking away has certainly may have even brought balance back to a situation where there wasn't any okay now in your energy sagittarius we do got the empress and the temperance in reverse what's this about yeah, look at that. You guys are finding your balance, okay? Because again, a temperance reverse is telling me that you've lost patience for this person and they really affected your um your life, okay? You you've lost you don't have that peace and harmony in your life. You you feel like out of alignment with your higher self. And that six of pentacles is telling me now you're giving to yourself. Okay, now the focus is on yourself, right? You're the empress. You are, you know, typically you you love and you nurture and you support others, but now you have to love yourself back, right? So you're putting all that love back into you. And you've always been the one Sagittarius to give, give, give. That six of pentacles is telling me you gave so much more than what you even had to this person. Okay, you made a lot of sacrifices with the Empress and the Six of Pentacles. All right, let's see. Um, ooh. So let's see, the Five of Cups with the Queen of Swords, because they came out together. Yeah, so there is some kind of death of a situation here. I do feel like if your person, Sagittarius, was dealing with a third party, um, a Queen of Swords or someone who was very bossy, um, I feel like that situation is done. I don't think that that situation is going to be lasting much longer, and that 
Oh, they could be feeling like it's at its end, okay? And that could be causing your person to feel this five of cups, having some regrets about how they treated you or walking away because they're looking at the situation with whoever this person is, that three of cups in reverse, they're looking at the situation as finito. It is done. It's like not going anywhere, okay? And now your person is thinking about their stability, the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups was trying to come out in reverse. I do feel like this person knows that they're selfish, okay? They made a very selfish move, and they're very unhappy. You have the devil in reverse. Your person is letting go of some kind of karmic or something that was toxic or getting in the way of this relationship here. I feel like your person had to test the waters, but now they're finding out that there's nothing out there, okay? Now, the Six of Wands in reverse coming into the moment... Um, yeah, neither one of you guys are reaching out. Neither one of you guys are extending an offer. And I, there's a situation here where both of you guys just feel like it, it's a failure, okay? Nothing has really been moving. There's been a lack of progression. And there hasn't been anything that you guys feel like you've been victorious about regarding this connection. Now, we do got your energy again, Sagittarius, okay? You guys are really trying to, um, manifest your peace, your happiness. You're really trying to protect that is what I'm seeing, and you feel like you're having a difficult time. I feel like February could be rough for you right now. But there is an the energy of your person coming coming out or coming clean through your swords about the hurt and despair that they've caused you. Maybe even coming clean about why they left with the three of swords, who this third party was. Your person is finally ready and willing to open up, let down their guards with the four pentacles. Because before they were very, I feel like they were very guarded. They were blocked. They weren't giving you much. They were stingy with their time their energy their emotions okay and that four pentacles and verses tell me there's something here that's being let go or dropped here okay yeah because they've been doing some thinking the hermit in reverse is telling me they finally come to some kind of enlightenment and this could happen again in divine timing oh my gosh you won't believe what came out the ace of pentacles unbelievable sagittarius your person has finally realized that there's a there's stability here with you and that they want this commitment here with you like, you are the person that they should have stayed with. You're the person that they should have married. You're the person that they really want this commitment with, okay? Wow. Sagittarius, if this is your reading, claim it. Um, let me know how it resonates to you. Also, if it resonates, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out your bonus extended reading on Vimeo, February 1st through the 10th. How does your person feel? I've also included unspoken love messages, healing advice. It will look at what's going on with your person right now. How do they view you? Feelings, emotions, what's going on behind the scenes? How do they want to move forward? And the outcome. So check it out. Link is in the description box. You guys all take care.